You know what I mean? It's like my 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 logo. Hey guys, we're gonna about to start any second. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Typical Skeptic Podcast. Um, you know, a very much needed episode, and I had to call in the big dogs for help on this. I, I called in Sean Bond, you know, but, and, and let me just say, guys, what we're going to try to do tonight, I can't say it didn't work for sure. I mean, I, this goes back to my idea was like Art Bell, he did it back in the day. He did it with, he called it mass consciousness experiments, where he said you got a bunch of people to meditate on one thing and saw if they could change the reality and they could you know, they would try to, you know, mani- you know, push back storms or whatever. And that's we, what would I want to try to do is like lessen the damage. But like Sean's going to explain like a little bit more about what exactly he wants to do with this. Like he's, he's going to explain everything to you guys. So and more people will join a little bit more about my guest. Sean Bond is the founder of the Psionic Lead and Spiritual Court Science, Spiritual Science. He's a spiritual leader who and others on holistic healing and spiritual growth, problem solver and spiritual conduit for teaching others about multidimensional awareness and interaction with their individual DNA technologies, higher functionings of the operation systems with anybody's soul, spark shards of their multidimensional self help them manifest in the physical. Sean's abilities include past life reading, DNA reading, past life regression, Akashic records reading, licensed massage therapy, pain release, trigger point therapy, myofascial release, chakra balancing release, Reiki Master Healing, Energy Removal, and Remore. Check out his YouTube channel and check out his website. It's at psionicleague.com. And I'd like to give him a big warm welcome back to the show. Sean, thanks so much for coming back on, man. How are you? Oh, shit. What happened? What? He got, he got cut off. Wow. They're really trying to mess with the stream, huh? Are you there? Now I can hear you. Hello? Sean, good to see you, man. How are you? I just read your bio. They're really trying to mess with us, man, already. Yeah, I just got kicked out. I don't know why. Um, Okay, interesting. Uh, Okay, thanks. Um, Yeah, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. This is a really important stuff to happen that's needed for the planet. And uh, uh, the, you know. With, uh, you know all about it, the weather war that's going on both spiritually and physically with things trying to propagate oh, the new new big thing that will be taking people's attention up and then blaming it on like an ambiguous topic uh, that, you know, any change represents their right kind of thing like with uh, climate change. Um, so, uh, yeah. There's a lot going on with this, and it's not normal. Uh, people out there know this. It's a Category 1 hurricane going to a Category 5 hurricane uh, just in um, mere hours is not normal. So, yeah, there is a lot of evidence and videos to come out that people can look down rabbit holes for and, like, microwave uh, maps and uh, radar and lasers and... Weird stuff with planes and all kinds of stuff. Um, like why? It's like patents galore. I post all, all about it. Um, so, and then uh, those that are sonically inept. Uh, um, I mean, you know, uh, mastery of uh, the ability to influence the weather, both light and dark. There's a war with that, and then there's you know the multidimensional apex predators that have stolen multiple authority from. <sighs> you know, what people throughout time and different cultures would call uh, authorities of the sky, weather, uh, w- uh, storm gods, weather gods, um, founders, the source branch of, of God that is influencing management over that's those systems for different planets. And uh, yeah, the, the dark doesn't earn its authority, so it goes and steals it. So there's like points in time on where they stole it. That can be prevented or resolved and authorities original positive authorities restored out of the hands of evil and that's what we're going to be doing uh 
So anyone out there, whenever we do the meditation, we don't have to do it right away. We can do a bunch of questions and answer and all that, however long you want to do this for. Yeah. Uh, but people out there to get ready for the meditation, if you can get an eye mask or something and a place you can relax and lay down and uh, maybe a bag of ice if you're, you're really wanting to go fast at it. Uh, ice uh, amplifies clearing as it's a, a yin as opposed to hot, which is a yang explosive, a yin, you can turn it into a portal that sucks away negative energy and that will amplify the tech that I'm giving you to amplify clearing of your body so the technology turns on more successfully so it has a greater effect. Can you talk a little bit about like what you were able to find out about what you think the dark might be doing, especially with this storm? I thought that was interesting that we talked a little bit, a little bit before the show. I've hear, heard lots of rumors, um, so but and I also tune into things myself. So they they um, I tried clearing the hurricane that was going up before of a lot of the things, and they just keep adding more stuff. The dark, so they really want it to happen. So there's a I I also read into it because like sometimes storms have a purpose and they're like natural and they need to do something. Um, I wasn't reading much of a positive purpose from the light. Level. Of that other than them a lot uh if not enough of the light force can stop it it's an opportunity to train them but it being a way to expose in the truth awareness that uh weather warfare and mani- modification and manipulation is a thing to more of the public that's so that's the light effect but the dark wants to do something. So um, they seem to be doing some destruction. The timing of it is in, in suspect uh, where it's influence over the, the states that it's the states that are, are being targeted with it. The area around there's these different frequency emitters that um, cause low high pressures that like prevent a hurricane from being in an area nearby that you can look at that map. And so, like, the, first, the Helene one went just, like, up and increased over land. And it never happens. They always decrease over land. And yes. uh, it was, like, narrowed down to a pathway. And it's like, oh, what's going on on that pathway? And there's, like, a lot of information coming up about, oh, these mines and silicon and uh, quartz and um, lithium mines and uh, the federal government buying up the land and, uh, forcing people off. And there, there's a lot of stories around the planet of uh, weather being used and uh, weird stuff happening, like, especially with flash fires, to clear out land that had a plan on it for what it would be in the future, which was interesting to me. But there's also like talk about underground base stuff and uh, you know, light and dark and, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. And then there's uh, evidence that things know, knew about in the future, which was interesting. There's even um, that um, whatever that AI Siri seems to have counted a death toll already for some reason. Um, what is going on? Uh, well, there's a lot of things that can tell the future. I don't know if they actually know the future, but they're doing something with a predictive model. So we'll see. Um could it even affect what's going on in the U.S. in in a few months? Could could be, but then there's always a tug of war over the time with light and dark, and if people succumb to suffering, if uh, enough people die, versus if they use this as an event that brings humanity together, uh, more people become resilient and they survive, and it wakes them up because a lot of these type of events of suffering and betrayal and uh, needing to become hyper vigilant, vigilant forces people to wake up, which is good, but at the same time, a lot of suffering unnecessary. I don't like. Um, with the the dark, you know, they're they're putting a lot of negative energy and emotions into the hurricane <clears throat> of different types. It had a lot of evil at one point. It still does. Uh, I had a lot of death, anti, a lot of anti energy. Like, so it looks like there's a, a war entangling with it uh, for manifestation that's being pit. Like, this universe is being pit against the multi, uh, the the antiverse version of this universe. What is the antiverse, Sean? <sighs> and so every universe, uh, it's a, like a, you imagine a bubble that keeps expanding. 
and is separate from other uh, universes uh, to have territory and boundaries. Uh, it has like space in between it. That's called void space. The usually I will see a universe being created in um, more than just one at the, at, in a group. So like a polarity version of it. The anti version of most things acts like a lymphatic system, which is if the universe is being invaded and penetrated into by a outside force that's not allowed in, then there's a, a sa safety defense mechanism that tries to force the invader into the antiverse realm, which has a bunch of it's eh, it's sometimes opposite. It usually will have you will usually have a counter version of yourself that may vary in various ways. Um, it's usually predatory and, and as this universe is uh, rewards through the sources, fractal branching uh, in moral code and unity with all and seeing as one in the symbiotic behavior. That one acts in a predatory nature because it's resolving evil. Like the, uh, the lymphatic system drains toxins and viruses and invaders out of the system and, de and detox them into the excretory system to be resolved. It has a hierarchy of predators that dominate anything that's invading and get it into a more ordered structure of like at least le uh, less of a problem evil. Uh, and then it tries to resolve them to a graduation process that way. And so the, though they're not supposed to be at odds, but, uh, you know, there's a Machiavellianism, a Velian divide and conquer strategy that's used by the invading evil to try to turn us against more and more things and be in disunity. So even turning the antiverse version of each person against itself, et cetera. And there, there are various times in Atlantis fall and, this planet and other places like the Draco star system that have had gates or portals or rips in space time open up that allowed invasions from the antiverse to come over here. That's interesting. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah. And, and do you see that? The triangle. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's like some kind of reverse polarity there. Right. Or something like that. Yeah, that's one of, there's a few places that the antiverse opened up on earth. Muta triangle is one of them. Wow, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, and guys, while while we're um while we're we're getting ready to do the meditation, I figured we could do a small Q and A with Sean first while we let the chat build up. So if you guys have questions about psionic abilities, if you have a question about the storm, if you uh if you want to give your two cents on something, um, but usually people have questions for Sean about spirituality, psionic abilities, ETs, interdimensional relations. Um, you know, anything, uh, you know, like uh, all the stuff he covers. Um, uh, let, me, let me go through it again. Uh, past life reading, DNA reading, past life regression, Akashic records, uh, myofascia, chakra balancing, Reiki, stuff like that, entity removal, um, targeting. Targeting is a big one, alien abduction. Um, uh, so, yeah, we can, we, can, we can go through a couple questions before we get into the meditation. If you have, uh, you know. Sure. Um, uh, Mexico Unexplaining says probably the zone of silence in Mexico too, like the Bermuda Triangle, he says. Do you feel it maybe? Um, hmm, I'm in Mexico right now, so I'll look into that. Um, I'm exploring a, a bunch of the area. My God, there's so much here. There's like 10,000 plus pyramids around Mezzo in South America and uh, some crazy stuff barely anyone knows about. Uh, keep discovering more and more stuff. So I'll, I'll look into that. Um, thank you for bringing that up. Um, don't know. Uh, about for the um, antiverse things, those are rare. It's hard to penetrate in the antiverse. There's a lot of things that don't want that to happen. It's very bad if it opens up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the Andromedan says, do you know anything about the omniverse? Is there something called the omniverse? Yeah, I like that term. Um, sure. Uh, so looking uh, through exploration macroly, as I've uh, been resolving problems as I master resolving predators, uh, multidimensional predators of various types, and then expand the multidimensional functionality of the body and expansion, the higher self, the source, to be able to take on more monitor and uh, inter interact and uh, see more in the expansion of your consciousness, which you can keep earning the ability to keep going in macrocosms. 
Uh, so I uh, the names that I use are uh, so uh, you know, Galaxy Universe, um, Grapevine of uh, a multiverse, which is usually a cluster that was formed together by a common uh, group of sources, and then that also there's other multiversal clusters all around and that i usually hold in a what i call the ultraverse i suppose you could either call the those terms interchangeable depending on how you define it and um then it keeps going up to more and more layers of like ancient layers of authority structure and then things that created concepts of reality going all the way back to time and space and then above that the source the, so, the main prime fractal branches of consciousness that make all light beings that are in this um, whatever macrocosm and all dark beings. So the prime dark, um, whatever you want to call it, creator and the prime light creator. And then they fractal off of a source that I would describe as it holds government over a big macrocosm that I call I usually use the Vesca Pisces that is within a bigger Vesca Pisces as a terminology for it. And it requires everything that's entered its space to have it in its heart. And I call that a fractal branch of the source within all sources. That is like what people call God or from going up from the galactic prime creator, universal prime creator, and then like the, the main head honcho, whatever you want to call that people call God. And it keeps going up. And then that goes to bigger and bigger sources, uh, to w ancient concepts and creation, like the, the source of shadow and void and uh, evil and darkness. And then older ones that are the lighter ones. And then going to the so source of goodness, love, the source of all, the source of nothing. And then it I honestly keeps going up. I think it repeats. It eventually goes up to some macrocosmic body that's kind of like the repeat of Adam's to form a body of a, a conscious being and then there's other conscious beings and it fractals up to repeat itself again but with different physics and it might keep going but i i'm still exploring going up wow that's amazing um this is uh this is uh this one's from jonathan uh he says any tips on how to connect with ones that have passed over uh yeah they're usually always going to have a heart connection to you so you got to clear it and detach things that would limit it, um, which it will be blocked by. A, uh, it's like a river, a circuit that connect information and heart telepathy to you and them. Uh, it's going to be blocked by emotions and they're either your emotions or theirs, which you'd want to resolve and hug and transmute and give love both. And then you can help them transmute their blocks and emotions and earthly attachment, the things that they need to go through, especially if it, uh, they're fresh in death. So that will help them get through the tests of the bardo during the like Tibetan Book of the Dead, which are tests to see if they're worthy to go on to to earn to more places that they can go in the afterlife, or if they they need to stay in certain places for lessons. Uh, and there's some not the there's been a lot of damage that this earth and the astral and the afterlife have taken on. So the management is. It needs it needs more going on because there's incursions into it. Uh, so not everyone has the best deaths ever, but if they have enough support, that can help them through. And there's fear and confusion and deception and the Archon grid and all this other stuff. But if you can expand past the limits, regain your awareness and who you are and past life remembering and uh, meet with your ancestors and get a whole spectrum of awareness beyond just like, shoo, get, get back in the reincarnation grid. Come go back in, and, uh, you know, before that, then uh, it could be more successful. Even if, you know, a lot of the time you, you do have a reason for being here and it is good to be here because you resolve a lot of stuff, but you want to not be limited in the spectrum of a greater death and rebirth process, which some people do in like the process of resurrection where they come back and wh where were they? And they were able to do a bunch of things, learn a bunch of things, come back with greater wisdom and then change their whole being. But, you know. 
Yeah, I, I got a question for a person, and I, I wasn't going to ask this, but I got to ask you because I, 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 okay, so I did a, can I, I'm not going to name the guy's name because I don't want to call him out in case you say something like not good. But uh, so I did a podcast with someone who um, he channels angels, right? Um, he, and and he, he's, he talks a lot, it's a lot of benevolent stuff. He doesn't say anything bad, you know? I don't think you know who he is, but um, he, he's more like a coast to coast type guest. Like, and he's a really nice guy, but he made my eyes sparkle. Like for the whole day, my eyes have been sparkling. It seems like, and like like when I look into the camera, it seems like like there's like like light in my eyes, you know. And like, so am I possessed, or is he is he able to put something <laughs> in me, or like, or like, is he said something to worry about, or what do you think? Like, what do you get from me? Like, oh, if you're not not feeling bad or like no, overwhelmed or drained or anything, okay, then like that. Then there's good symptoms with that. Of course, there's false light, so it's, it's good to question that kind of thing. But usually, light is an aspect of uh, light be beings. So, which what are angels? Uh, they're like management and then a hierarchy set up and branching off of source and creator beings. Um, so, I think it's uh, it's probably an upgrade to your eyes and vision. There's like generators in all these organs, and so like if you turn on the generators and make the generators of your eyes feel safe enough. They can empower new abilities, perception, ability to see past things, veils, um, see things, auras, uh, all kinds of stuff. And you build up density in your eyes and you see more. Um, wow. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's amazing. Uh, Jason says Rob has a, a real life Insta filter. That's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. Like, uh, you know, they have those filters on Instagram. Uh, that's funny. Okay. Um, uh, Third Eye Tribe says, how can I know for sure if I was in some type? And thank you for answering that, by the way. She says, how can I know if I was in some type of program? And do they have programs that had anything to do with training virtual reality or video games. Um, Before you answer that, okay. I was just going to say, like, aren't, aren't, like, most games based off of, like, some kind of real program that's going on and stuff like that? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. That's nice. I like that. Uh, yeah, feel free to answer any of these questions. I, lo I love it when we uh, go back and forth. you got a lot of wisdom inside you. Um, I mean, to know if you're in programs, uh, usually in t your targeting intensifies. Uh I mean, I'd have to, uh, how many people are targeted in programs? Unless you're like really camouflaged and some you're, how you're in, able to invade, uh, evade the government or, uh, you know, normies that don't have that much rare energy generators don't really have to worry about the government programs abducting them. ETs, uh, almost pretty much everyone on the planet has at least one abduction of some type because they're literally trying to control everyone and farm them and program them. So pretty much guaranteed in some way. And then you got to figure out when and where and how and where are they limiting or they steal anything and they take my DNA all that. Um, you it's OK. So when you get abducted by the military, if, it, if that's what you're talking about um, in my lab, then it's the evidence is going to show up in an your solar plexus, your soul branches off your mind consciousness, branches off the ego, the ego branches off altars. So it's all going to be stored there. Altars are formed is like with amnesia barriers and stolen memories and uh, screen memories and all this kind of stuff that block. Oh, and compress and compartmentalize like DID, dissociative identity disorder, a part of yourself that's programmed through sometimes fracture based mind control or a advanced machine to make it so that they can control an ability or how make you forget about it. If you're just like going from medial slave labor to, you know, like doctor or engineer or ship or doing some type of job or soldier or psionic ability that you're being targeted for, for a various purpose that they can use it for. They will have a training program that may not be fun. A lot of, of mine weren't. I don't really like them. Uh, and a lot of trauma and overwhelm of emotions stored away and, and things triggering uh, evolution through that method to need to survive. And it uh, there'll be memory stored away in that that they can trigger and they have a lock and key with 
uh, code mechanisms to bring it uh, under their control because they want to limit you from using it, but they want to use it whenever they want. And they'll usually put mind control in you. So that that mind control bleeds over. It doesn't just affect the altar. It will try to limit you. So the more you kind of assume or try to test if there's a there's a spiritual or internal or external handler either an handler that could be physical in your environment or it could be from a distance like a lot of mine uh where they just steal from you and they influence you send emotions at you they overwhelm you uh and they steal try to steal your abilities etc um there if you do things outside of your predictive model and like some people like i had whenever you take a flight or you move or you go a long distance you'll get overwhelmed with anxiety and you'll it'll be like oh no i gotta get home or some type of change your timeline to kind of affect the more uh, symptoms of that you get the more likely it is that you're targeted for that thing and if you got really powerful abilities that come online they got technology to track you if you didn't camouflage it enough. And they'll probably try to use it and suppress you from using it. Wow, that's amazing. That was really detailed about, like, a really detailed breakdown about targeting works. Wow, that was amazing, man. I don't think anybody's ever explained targeting that deeply on this show before. So that was like, we could do a podcast just on that. You know what I mean? Sure. Honestly. Um, we, we, we able to do it. Yeah, I'll get to the next one though because I know you have. Wait, wait, oh, uh, how how long should I take, take out for the meditation? Like, how long will that go? For? Um, that's a good question. I mean, uh, I mean, we could go thirty or forty-five minutes if you want for the meditation. Do, 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 you, do, uh, do you want to? Do you want to take? It's eight thirty where I'm at now, so I'm on East Coast time. Do you want to take questions until like? maybe for like 15 more minutes and then start the meditation. Cause I have a, sure. another thing to do at nine 30 Eastern. I have to, I have sure, to meet sounds my good. somewhere. Yeah, sure. sounds good. And I'll have a little bit of, if you can give me a little bit of time to explain some of the stuff about the hurricane that wouldn't be like, Oh yeah, just go deep. In, you know, it's not, <laughs> it's not like meditation information. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I understand. Did you want to go over it now sure. before I get to another question or yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, yeah. So, Okay, so I'll just go through my list. So when I was like looking at the Milton hurricane, I was seeing a whole bunch of demons. The first one was like Baphomet that were trying to entangle with it and keep it going. And then uh, once I found out that its core, because a lot of these demons have a reason for being here. They have a history. They have, they're kind of doing a job, but half being an asshole because they were overwhelmed or possessed or taken over by evil. And there's like a big hierarchy of evil that is is messing with them so some a lot of the things with the names um aren't like things to be destroyed because they don't the earth is it they earth prefers them than an invading unknown worse evil essentially and they're and they're more influenceable especially since they entered the trap of earth and humanity and our empathic trap of love virus um okay so yeah and then i found out a bunch of things with them in history because there's like different bathomets that cl and, and things that claim to be that being and, and then a composite being that it's taken a bunch of religion so there's a lot of things that pretend to be the name of things so then it kept replacing that and more things keep attaching and more evil kept putting in so i'm like okay there there's a lot of things that want this hurricane to exist so i'm telling people with this meditation and all that if it still you know keeps going on at a big level of course it's it i read it, it's likely to so that's because not enough people have been doing uh this type of work for a while and training with it so don't get discouraged if we don't have a, the effect on this one there's more hurricanes there's ones that people don't even know about that are, aren't affecting the u.s there's one that affected mexico and uh croatia i just found out about so um yeah. So, oh, you got you. This is these are all like weights to train you to get stronger. And eventually I want the timeline where enough people are trained strong enough that they can disperse hurricanes whenever they come up, even if they're weather warfare manipulated through technology, which, which eventually is what's needed. That's why I like that timeline. So don't get discouraged. Do what you can. 
you can do both in the protection of the place that is at and support it and the aftermath, resolving it, helping people wake up and also training to slow down the hurricane, which is what we're going to do. I just wanted to say real quick, like Art Bell was nowhere near your level. He didn't know like that, like up 10 percent of what you know. OK, but like what I just want to say was he was messing around with stuff like we're doing, but nowhere near to this level. Right. Like He was doing what he called mass consciousness, where he had his whole audience because he had millions of people. Right. Watching coast to coast back in the day. And remember, it was very rudimentary back then. They were talking about the 90s, early 2000s. He had them all focus on dissuading a storm and they were successful to a certain degree. But then he was worried he didn't know how to control that storm once he got it out you know what i mean so he might have had millions of people and he had a lot of people watching they might have affected but he didn't know with like so now he dissuaded the storm where does he what does he do with it you know what i mean so they weren't you know so he stopped doing those experiments but uh you know um you know so i just thought i'd throw that in there you know a lot more about what's going on and why the causes are for this and what we can do and like you know um you know it's still going to be hard though. We're, we're up against like, we're up against a, 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 like, it seems like we're up against like, we're up against it. It seems like. Yeah. A lot of stuff. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. We'll tune into more and uh, hopefully I want more and more people to be really good experts at this. And that's what we'll all train to. And as you get the skeletal system for how it works, it'll all start unfolding in your mind and the questions you ask and your heart deep in your heart, there's, uh, aspect of you that already knows the answer and how to do stuff. So you, we'll reach into that today. Uh, so there's different types of hurricanes. So there's natural ones, unnatural um, ones that are controlled by light, dark, the earth, elementals, storm gods, all kinds of things. Um, so uh, you want to kind of tune into that. You want to see if it has a purpose, if uh, how hard it is in level to to resolve this one's a hard one so it's it's a it's almost in, impossible but uh that doesn't mean you can't train with it so it's gonna just trying is gonna get you a lot of authority and upgrades and abilities uh because earth and god loves that when you take initiative especially when it's for the unity and help others and protect and, and save lives. You get a lot of brownie points, a lot of goodness. So even if it's a really hard difficulty, each one of these is going to be a good training. Um, this one, again, uh, has a lot of evil trying to manipulate it to cause destruction. Or, and, there, and there's different targets. It's interesting to see what happens in the cause and effect. His timelines that will happen. So... <clears throat> Uh, you can also see the timelines that are made off of this event, which is about a billion different timelines, usually having to do with who dies, who could die, suffering, the cause and effect of those lives and what they do in the future, the awakening it causes. There's a tug of war on that, light and dark. The dark wants to make it so that people give up and then it like, goes towards their direction. But uh, that's now, so you can see those timelines, those a billion timelines, and the suffering it's caused there. We're going to unite with the beings that are the victims of that and redirect and bring all the negative emotion of suffering and bring it back in time to compress around uh, with love the hurricane. Uh, what is causing it to continue a raging storm to reverse it, uh, which I think it's going counterclockwise. So you you help spin it clockwise and uh, compress it while giving it love and goodness because a lot of it's formed by evil um, and uh, uh, also compressed around the, the beings behind the levers that are trying to amplify it. And you, you can do that for future hurricanes that are like that too because um, things anchored <laughs> into the future that make those future timelines, uh, the suffering can uh, and the negative emotion that is caused by it can be merged together to make and with love transmuted into the cure be sent back in time to prevent negative timeline outcomes a lot of that 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 helps a lot and a lot of other things in healing those timelines and collapsing negative timelines it can be resolved like that um so that then uh this needs a lot of power of course because it is full of power uh so there's strategic ways to help um Besides, you know, going into wind bending and telekinesis, which is eventually what people need to get up to. Um, so there's high ranking uh, evil 
uh, hierarchies that are connected to this that will are willing to spend a lot of energy and take uh, chess pieces and reserves of energy from other places to keep this going. So we would use it, make it as a trap, capture trap. You make a geometry. I'll simplify it, but if you want to know deeper this ability, it's very powerful. I, I am very good at it. I love it. It's, it's so useful. A lot of beings trade me for it. Capture geometry collapse down into a portal send it to a quarantine realm uh and uh, uh you, a lot of people need to be training that to get rid of this evil that keeps entangling with it all the way up to train to the big apex predators so they come down with it and less and less have the motivation especially the ones that stole the authority of weather gods weather sources weather founders uh Diff, uh, fractals of God and source and the prime creator and the, you know, all of the uh, other aspects of like the prime creator of the uh, universe, multiverse, etc., earth and the authorities hierarchy that were granted ability to influence weather patterns to form the, since the evil steals it. And then it we'll, we'll be going back in time and preventing those authorities from getting their authority stolen by the evil forces with fortressing, um, safety bubbles, uh, deflection, loving detachment, destruction, uncreation, if necessary, with love and light destruction to, as a barrier to prevent them from stealing. Whatever is needed to protect them at various times, like Fall of Atlantis, when, where a lot of the abilities were stolen through invaders coming in, like from the Antiverse. Okay, so then there's... I read around 29 different frequency weather manipulating weapons that were being used that you can overload it. You want to tra uh, train neutralization energy, which is going to be like you scan part of your higher intelligence scans, the frequency being emitted and you make a counter opposite frequency to neutralize. Um, you can also train telepathic hacking uh to make it not work or, or overloading ability for any of those targeted individuals out there if you get targeted by frequency weapons uh and ai this is a good training course to overload them with some type of yang emotion like excitement love anger uh explosive energy back to wherever the frequency uh, tracks back to that's quantum entangled with you to cause harm or pain or emotion or something a voice to skull, etc. Um, and uh, yeah, you can train tele telepathy and uh, get, uh, I mean, te technopathy. Uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world, so I don't expect a lot of people to be great at it. But as you expand your higher self and source there, they can get good at it. And you can go through the mystery school uh, for it if you want and ask for that to happen. Um, so there's a store, another big thing. So I'll, I'll also mention this in the meditation. There's a storm in your heart. If you, especially for your, you empaths over there, you probably have been feeling it. There's a internal representation of the external hurricane. And you, if you can, as an empath, if you can feel into things, you can change them. So, uh, you can bring that storm to calmness. Uh, it might feel like anxiety or fear or dread or, or urgency or a lot of things, especially if you're really sensitive to it and having a lot of your empathic emotional body hands attached to it. Um, and thank you being brave for doing that. And I don't want to overwhelm you. So like get to a place where you're also feeling healthy, but I'll give you the tools in the meditation to feel good and produce enough love because that love can conquer all. Um, so a lot of this uh, will need purification, shrinking down, uh, wind body calming, which will be generating some wind uh, influence abilities in this meditation. Uh, it needs a lot of goodness. So the, the heart gener uh, generates a lot of the goodness energy. Um, and since the hurricane has a lot of evil, you're like, bring the two together and merging them and you're creating like an antidote transcendence to good and evil type of thing uh that like is an antidote that you can even give to evil beings and then spread that out and push it back 
<clears throat> there's like a bunch of tempest storm gods that have their authority being stolen to be made use this <clears throat> uh, so, three at least storm founders that i saw that were entangled with this one a million different wound uh, wounds uh to the the fractal branch of source uh that has to do with storms and hurricanes uh most of this is being uh targeting and wounding and stuff is happening at not like 90 percent of atlantis fall then a bit at rome the fall of rome five percent and then another five percent at world war ii for some reason I was uh, some something to do with uh, them doing rituals to steal energy from Thor, and also Japan's doing something with its storm god, and then something in Hawaii with um, Pearl Harbor. I think <coughs> it's like a big ritual sacrifice that then makes a big predator that then tries to steal authority from authorities around the area. Um, uh, love was oh yeah. So with your heart, you're going to be expanding love at a bigger level. Um, right now, it might be a little a bit of generation of love in your heart and in your sacral. So you'll be clearing those. I'll be amplifying those. I'll go into that in a second with this meditation. Um, and uh, I just I read you were, I read you been talking. I just wonder but you know I, I added Rumble guys. So like welcome to everybody watching on Rumble. I figured we needed the extra people so. You know, um, so yeah, we're live on Rumble now too. Sorry about that, Sean. I just figured I'd make that no announcement. Problem. I didn't want you to think I wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to add the Rumble stream, like while we're, yeah. Yeah, so, no, you're the yeah. moderator. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, this is amazing so far. Thank you. So I just wanted to say thank you for like to having like the balls to like want to try to help society and like want to do this, man. Because like that's this is the only way I know how to fight back. And you're 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 like a, a big weapon, man. Like you you know how to fight evil, like. You know, and and even if we're not completely successful this time, like like you said, it's training for next time. You know, and we need to learn somewhere. You know, and I just want to. I'm an empath, man. I feel this shit, so I want to help people. Like so many of our friends that we were at the conference with, like Matthew Mornian, um, uh, Daryl James, uh, Daryl James's uh, girl ex girlfriend. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Um, you know, uh, there was a lot of people that were at that conference with us that were in that are in Florida, and they might be having to back. My friend Mark from Forever Conscious Research, he's in Florida. You know, I'm sure we can think of a lot of people that are in Florida that have to deal with this shit, and I feel for all of them. So, you know, that's why I kind of wanted to. You know, sorry, I just yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to thank interrupt. You. Sorry. No, thank you. Keep keep adding good stuff. I appreciate it. Yeah, and thank you uh, uh, for being brave yourself. This thank you for having this podcast. Uh, this you're you're gonna make a big difference. It's gonna change a lot of timelines. People are gonna be able to calm all types of weather and storms and disruption. The the, st the weather reflects our consciousness. There's a lot going on in us. Um, uh, every uh, the, everything reflects us. Everything is ultimately you. And then as we like figure out what each thing represents, then we can uh, get the, the cure for it and transcend that type of thing. And, and this training. Is what's needed and i i see the people out there all you guys in the audience becoming masters of this uh, with each time there's a hurricane you can uh just like hey hire yourself and my source can you get on helping me train with this hurricane to get better at bringing it to calmness or whatever it needs and then uh as you do it each time it gets easier and easier and then we'll be able to prevent more and more hurricanes in the timeline i, I love that the future timeline yeah, and then, and then there's two more hurricanes coming up for uh, the U.S. at least. Uh, so yeah, we can practice on those too. Um, collapse, uh, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna collapse the timeline yeah. of. Suffering. But we are in hurricane season, right? It is hurricane season, but it's like, yeah, yeah. There shouldn't like, be like, that many. They, they don't need to be so manipulated. They manipulate them. That's what it is. Yeah, exactly. Right. We, sometimes yeah, we go a whole hurricane evidence. season without this much activity. This is like, yeah, this is unprecedented. Like for, for Helene to hit the way it did now, this one's hitting the way it did. It seems kind of like, you know. Yeah, it's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. there's a lot of evil agendas uh, all at once. And there's a lot of evidence for it. And you can go on like X and look, uh, just like type in the hurricane data. If you scroll enough, you'll find a bunch of frequency map 
uh, mapping out. They give like, hey, that, there's something weird going on there right when the hurricane got bigger. Ooh, hmm, interesting. The more people yeah. are vigilant of that, the more it spreads, the awareness spreads. And eventually, if they do it more, there's going to be protests and riots. And, that, uh, and people are going to go to these facilities and break them. Yeah, I agree. It would be lovely. Okay, so yeah, and that, so these these different timelines. Um, I'm reading at least a billion for each of these hurricanes coming up. Uh, so we bring the suffering back in the timeline, condense it, collapse, prevent. Ninety percent of the energy can go to uh, form with love a cure to calm the, the hurricane, as well as ten percent go and stop the evil puppeting of negative action force and stop the levers, like I said before. Um, I'll be going to another meditation, uh, purpose. Let me just read the things that aren't required in the meditation purpose, ability, overpowered. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can also summon, uh, ETs, uh, to help with this. I've heard people, uh, start doing this as well. Um, so I recommend your soul family, your ancestral soul family to get in, involved in this. You can ask them for help with this. Um, they can train their abilities too. Though there are certain races that are better at this than others. There is a part, there, a, there's a type of humanoid lineage that's overpowered, like people call them higher humans or Lyran offshoots. That, but the Lyrans go at a lot of places, so they have a lot of colonies. It's like one type of colony that has mastered through training hurricane influence and weather manipulation at a high, high level. There's one that's really good. And then there's a, there's also a higher human type race on in, in Jupiter that trains with their hurricanes. And that's pretty interesting. But, uh, you know, there, some ETs can do certain things, especially with the frequency weapons they have to disperse. Um, well, not weapons, uh, you know, devices. It's more of a positive. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Then there's, let's see. Hmm. You probably, we need to probably summon a bunch of ships, depending on what it is. Uh, then there can, you can even call uh, beings of authority to help you, such as Earth, God, Angelics, Storm Founders. There's also a, a type of race, uh, founder lineage that are, I call them Stormbreaker Gods. They can disperse big storms. Um, trans... There's about 20 of those on the planet, at least that I see. Um, transcend more and more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll talk about this. But we got to transcend more and more of the inherited ego, which gives a, a, a more of our higher self to come in and us unite oneness with the universe. It's like, you know, anyone that experienced an ego death, you become more one with the universe. And with that takes a big comes with a big shift and that can affect the weather greatly. Anytime I've done that, the whole sky clears like a circle around me. It's really nice. Um, then uh, anti, uh, and I've done this a while. I, I've been practicing with the weather. You can summon sylphs to, to eat chemtrails. This, you can, there's a bunch of sylphs of different species. You know, they're, they're a concept for air elemental, but uh, some of them have been, you know, captured and, abused and killed so you can go around with your dna technology hey higher self source can you restore a bunch of the sylves uh help them send healing back in time uh prevent deaths all kinds of things uh help their species thrive and grow again and then you can build up an army and also like naming that doing this authority work will start granting you authority crowns Sometimes you'll you'll have like your head pulsing, especially this part of the occipital. There's like a big chakra here that amplifies weather manipulation in the back uh, of your head. Um, the different chakras around the head can amplify different things uh, specific. And uh, there's like a crown that you can gain that like comes with authority and an army, and you can influence that army to do things as long as you're you taking up the man's place responsibility to do stuff and uh, help the world. Um, so then let's see, transcend, oh yeah, okay. the, uh, resolving the antiverse thing. Cause that's like one of the things that's most on the boots on the ground evil right now that's coming through it, resolving them so they, they don't 
feel us like an enemy. There's some weird thing that uh, something stealing energy from us and throwing it at them, stealing energy from them and throwing it at us. It's like, oh, I'm in the right. And I'm going to fight you and stuff, you know, Machiavellianism. So they're, they don't they don't need to be pit against us. You can eventually unite with them uh, with boundaries, of course. Uh, your version of yourself, the the prime, the anti-verse, prime creator of the galaxy, the is a version of everything. Um, so a lot of authority is coming from them that's stolen, and they need to be resolved. Then there's calling the storm in. Oh yeah, yeah, the storm in the heart and the storm in the soul. Um, oh yeah, storm in the soul, man. This is a big one. So. I'll kind of go into this in a bit too, as well in the meditation. Okay. So if you want to resolve the storm, there it goes back to the highest authority of evil that's that's anchored into it. So it's going back to the. I do a show about the source of evil, um, which is like going up that big macrocosm I was talking about. I talked about the mythos of how it was created. It was like uh, when uh, the dark source was formed, it started doing things that were different than the other sources and uh, it had a lot of lack and it didn't know what to do because the others had a different pathway. So it started doing some harm to others. And so that made the light sources kind of reject and create boundaries and uh, uh, containment around it to separate them from it and it felt isolated and alone and all these negative emotions formed in it and, and generated and uh, you know that would ultimately create all these other dark sources etc um that forced it to figure out a, a solution to its lack then it created the source of evil which then went out and stole a bunch of stuff from the, the light sources and then that causes a divide so there's it's like a the source of evil is birthed through the abandonment of the the dark source by the light source so there's like their parental action interestingly um anyway but it's understandable why that happened because of the wounding uh, so but that can be changed so it repeats going up like i said so there's an even ancient or one of that, and I'll see how far it goes up. But there's a storm in that more ancient source of evil in its soul of a storm of evil. And it's feeling the need through the uncomfortability and destruction and the effect that is micro macro to that, that it's creating that in our reality. Um, at its core, it's kind of like a cry for help but it's also egoic. So it's not really thinking about that and, and causing harm and has an agenda. So not many people can really operate on that level. I'm just telling you about it, which is the, if the ultimate, like why evil creates these storms to begin with, which if you get into any remedy of you, you do it with goodness energy. And it's like, you're giving the cure of goodness to the evil storm and then you're making this antidote for evil storm that then makes an antidote for evil storm in your body that can get bigger and bigger and bigger and then affect a bunch of things psionically that has to do with any evil trying to fuck with you but it, it's like through the remedy of good and evil and what those things are that this comes to fruition okay uh, <laughs> um storm yeah so yeah so it needs love, goodness, antidote, parts work of bringing those parts to unity um, and then turning it in the opposite direction slowly. So with this, you can you can practice te your own telekinesis as well. This is called a psi wheel. You can like make this uh, just by like folding it out of paper and stuff. You get a little uh, pin and uh, whatever racer or some, something that can hold it up. And just prop it up like this um, and practice tele your own telekinesis and then influence it to spin a certain direction and then start influencing to spin the other direction and then uh, you overlay the hurricane with that and uh, you attempt to influence it as if you're slowing down the hurricane with extreme focus 
and love and amplifying. You can do meditations while you're doing this because you don't necessarily need your hands. But you can activate palm trucker and stuff that amplifies things. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. And then there's crown authority. There's ch a chakra above the head that amplifies uh, influence of the wind. Uh, you want to act. We're going to activate the wind energy body. Uh, there's uh, a superpower volt in your solar plexus that has a bunch of power generators for big abilities. Ones for like wind bending that you can earn through doing this work. Source will grant you uh, through more and more of these type of abilities and authority for helping out in some way and having the will to do so. Uh, there's soul parts. You might have done things like this in past lives, like pre Lemuria or other planets or other realms or other species that are good at it. There's a river of a supportive, nurturing energy from source that you can open your heart up to that flows in like a river. And also that talking about that river, there's a big plasma storm of energy that's flowing through you all the time. It's like we're, we're running through the universe, like whatever speed the solar system's like going, you know, hundred, whatever million miles an hour. I don't know what it is. Uh, and it, you're, it's the body's not receiving it. It's uh, it's not open enough for it. So it's like DNA, organs, cells, all, all the things in the body, the chakras, all, all that stuff can be opened up in a safe way because you also need defense. Um, but the way you can kind of, you can do both because it's like specifying what's opening. So uh, it's, you're like, it's like a solar wind sail capturing thing is what you're kind of doing is to receive more of that nurturing energy that can do and support you with any energy you need. And a lot of that takes trust. So you generate trust energy. Trust can be generated in every organ chakra by making it feel safe enough. Um, then the whole waking up people to prevent the weather uh, manipulation is a big thing. And then there's a steering wheel at the center of the hurricane. It's, it's a hard tug of war. It's not easy. You need to learn a lot of stuff. A lot of things want to put a lot of effort and knowing this into being in control of that steering wheel. Just letting you know about it though. If you eventually want to be the one that takes control of it and then be able to direct it, there's a thing to that. It's just kind of a king of the hill battle. So be careful. But you can lessen uh, and by making the trap for it to where there's less and less things fighting for it. And uh, it's more safe to engage in that type of thing eventually when a lot of the predators go away. Um, I got a question. So when you trap it, you're just making it absorb. You're making the earth absorb the energy almost to like give making a mother nature kind of absorb the energy. Is that kind of how you're doing it? Uh, trap, um, capture, uh, like I was saying before, superficially, you make a geometry around the, the hurricane light body programming for geometry is like if it has geometry in etheric space it can hold information memory you can then add a program to it and then you can charge it up with power and give it with the programming it has an intention and then you you test it with functionality to see if you get results and you train at a micro level like with yourself like if there's entities around and there's attachment and you feel itchy and you get headaches and pain and shit it's a good time to train this ability because you can then make a geometry, have your source make a portal at the center of the portal set to quarantine realm or wherever they, they need to go tailored to them and collapse it down to the portal. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can make that well, more should... advanced again. I can help you with that. It's a very useful ability. I train people in it. It's a lot of work, uh, details though for the bigger predators because just with that information, you capture little guys. Yeah. Well, should we start this, or what do you what do you think? It's up yeah. To let's you. go. Let's do okay. it. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to kind of be in and out, guys. I'm going to be directing all my energy towards it, but I got to man the chat and just make sure no trolls come in while you guys are meditating and cause a disruption or anything. Do you want to do a little uh, bathroom break real quick and then and tell everyone in the audience to do the same and then we'll all... Yeah, let, let's really do a small time. bathroom break, guys. Yeah, let's do a small bathroom break real quick. Do uh, Smoke them if you got them. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, smoke them if you got them because we're going, we're about to do some work. We're about to, you know, saddle up and... Uh, you know, like, you know, this is like the Wild West and we're going after this hurricane like we're the young guns. You know what I mean? So um, I'm going to go to the bathroom and we'll be right back and we'll, we'll start this. OK. And we'll just wait for Sean, and then as soon as Sean comes back, we'll get started. And, uh, you know, it should be good. Okay, cool. Can you hear me? Everything is frequency. You've been seeing a lot of spirits in the clouds for months. Crazy amount of downloads. Info. Wow, yeah. That's, you're like Dab Brad. Dab Brad sees all those um, spirits in the clouds. He's uh, He takes pictures of them. It's amazing, you know? Yeah, there, there. there's a big oh, war happening. Lots of... You're not muted. It's my headphones. Sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm good. Oh, I got you. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a big war going on. They, I got a bunch of messages. Hey, yeah, we need help. Line dark back and forth. This, is a, this might be a pivotal moment in the weather timeline. To all, to all honesty, what happens. Yeah. Um, and they'll you know, the dark force will probably do a bunch of big things and keep milking it and then just blame it on climate change and then bank a bunch of 15 minute cities and other stuff. Um, okay. Okay. So yeah, everyone get all relaxed. If you got your ice in a bag or whatever, great. Um, and, uh, and a towel and get your eye mask and you can go within Get nice and relaxed. Can you play some, uh, singing bowl music or something nice and relaxing. And, or I can play it on my phone, I think. Uh, let me see if I can find something good. Um, I can uh, play something you know. too if you want. Can you hear this? If you could, yeah, yeah, I can hear that. You're, you're probably better off because I, I don't have, okay. you have, I know you have tunes kind of there, like, you know. Um, is, is that, that loud? That might enough? be good. That might, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Cool. I guess we, uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, relax down. Um, uh, you can do this thing with activating your palm chakra so we can get everything involved in this clearing. If you press this like a button, you can use any finger. I just like doing this so I can type in shit. Uh, you activate your palm chakra. And this is like a little portal that connects to your source and your higher self that is portal tech. And just holding down for five minutes, I like to hold it down for the entire time to clear it and upgrade it constantly because when you're sucking up stuff, like a vacuum. Sometimes it gets clogged if you capture a big demon or something. Um, and you'll feel it. You'll feel like restless arm syndrome, pins and needles, and big pain if you captured a big one. And you just hold it down and to keep clearing it or hold the ice and they'll clear it more. And uh, hold that near wherever you, uh, the area that you need to clear. So um, we'll be amplifying a bunch of different energies to turn on. Um, so... 
there'll be things like uh, stuff to help the people out there, um, which you're going to have to produce safety energy, protection. Um, you can do like other things like fortress, but those are the big things that are needed for the area of Florida or wherever, wherever you're doing to, to protect the area. If you make a safety bubble, uh, it like comes off your heartbeat, uh, you can program the geometry of bubbles coming off where everything uh, in, that comes in and penetrates the bubble gets neutralized and neutered. And you expand that bubble and it gets bigger and bigger around your area. Uh, and then you can imply the program for that to where it neutralizes wind and slows it down and gets it calm. And then you can go out from anything that's forced and hang with you, which is like the storm in your heart that represents the storm out there that you're empathically feeling into. Uh, and the mo those empaths out there, thank you for being brave. This is going to help the world with any storm in the future that you're helping uh, shrink down. Okay, I'm going to get close to the mic and be all nice and calming and with my voice. Okay, and so a lot of this is entails your heart. Um, so those out there i'm going to kind of start the meditation so you feel really good though so you're going to take this pressing a button of your palm chakra you can even use a fist if you want whatever is comfortable and then bring it uh with the ice or whatever if you don't have it, it's fine to your solar plexus your solar plexus holds your power center your great sun the main center control of your power. So we're going to turn up that power. We're going to make it feel safe. All you got to do is clear it of all attachments, all these threads and cords attached to it, siphoning away energy, and uh, make it feel safe enough to generate more power. So first, you, uh, there are a bunch of clearing methods, both purification energy, this vacuum that will suck away the negative energy, and you make it so the sun of the generators themselves burn like a sun burn a bright and with love and gratitude this amp love and gratitude amplifies the flame to engulf the attachment anything attached to your solar plexus you're gonna switch your perspective to like oh these jerks they're stealing from me oh no to oh thank you thank you for showing up with that big truck of logs to my front door now i can make a bigger fire Oh, any, anything that comes at you and force entangles with you. It's like, hey, thanks for signing up for becoming my fuel. It, a lot of it can just be attachment and energy and stuff they're using because most of it's from a distance. But even if they're an entity, you can engulf them with that loving fire uh, that can capture them and banish them and send them to another place if you can avoid destroying them. But if they're really harming you and stealing your energy and you gave them warning, then they're fuel, baby. Uh, so unapologetically spread that love because it's very intelligent, that loving fire. It will know exactly what to need to do with goodness that will not cause you karma. And uh, you're going to make your solar plexus feel safer and safer and burn brighter and brighter and breathe into it like fanning flame. Uh, seeing the fire spread with gratitude. Thank you so much for coming into my fire. <clears throat> thank you guys for all the attachment the weights on my my power that has been you targeters that have been stealing from me because you owe me three times as much energy when i unite with the universe when i get it back and i uh and anything you're using against me i come immune to it and overtake it with love love conquers all so keep expanding that gratitude and that love that generates from your heart to the solar plexus. The solar plexus, again, it also holds a bunch of things. So it holds your power center, your will, your magic, your force, your chi, your light, your superpower vault, the ego, the inner child, the soul, the miracles. It's pretty much the power, main power generator for all the technology of your body. So when you all the, imagine all the storm and supercomputer technology, hardware and software in your body that's just waiting to have enough energy current come and pulse through it to turn on and then higher functioning. 
So as you produce more energy and you keep it from getting stolen and protect those generators and find out what where the drain is, where the fatigue is, then it will power more of your body and more cool things will come online, more knowingness, more, more empathy, more ability to influence and control your body, influence the world for goodness and better, hopefully. Please out there, learn moral code. Okay. So as you hold that solar plexus and fill it with love and light and get it brighter and brighter, having faith in it, some of the attachment will come in bulk from different areas, different places, people, places, things, drama, wounds, attachment, times in your life. Have faith in your heart, amplified, that you're going to be able to dissolve all those threads and attachment and cords coming at you. And then turn it into the fuel that makes that power even bigger, that sun even grander. going and you can do this as long as you need to and if you need to stay there if you're fatigued feel free to after you do that place when you feel enough power generation coming on to where you're feeling excited and you could like work out or something whatever there's there's various levels of attachment and the more you detach and most of it's held by the ego which branches off the soul because it the ego wants to protect you. It wants to quarantine its survival mechanism. It wants to quarantine those attachments from the soul, from getting deeper. And so it's holding on to all this stuff. Whenever you get overwhelmed, there's heaviness in the heart, drain of energy. The mind is chatty. That means the ego is overwhelmed. And you see your big higher self hug around it, collapse it down, fill it with love at the center. And transmute everything it's dealing with, detach everything attached to it from externally. And it will feel lighter, more blissed out, like you're taking weights off your heart and more lights coming out, more chi. The mind goes silent and the heaviness comes off your heart. And that will resolve a lot more of the higher self will come in your body, resolving the lower self. And can feel it all happen already good job good job guys making big differences so you can see the ego inflated with all this programming and negative attachment externally that's it's quarantining from you and it's stored in the body but you can see it outward like how big it is how much there is in size and scale somewhere some people have a big inflation size of their state their country the earth solar system even i've had big ones uh, if there's a big demon that's like the size of the galaxy you, your ego will get as big as the galaxy to protect you and then you give it love and shrink it down and then it disperses and purifies the ego and then it mer disperses and merges with the higher self and the higher self comes in and receives with the body as you because it took the ego took up the space to protect you and then we'll there's an aspect of the ego that's helping with the hurricane. So you can translate into that and heal it and purify it. And then you'll get more power and that power will generate and then go to these purposes. Now the power will release out the solar plexus chakra, go up and down the or, uh, toroidal field, the double toroidal field into the, the crown and into up the root. And then it'll permeate the body with power. The power will flow through it. And you're also wanting to get rid of all attachment that's trying to steal from it throughout the aura. And you can do that with your intention. And then once the power gets the sacral and flows down, it can turn into emotional body power. Can, let's turn into bliss, happiness, joy, love. You can turn it into other things too, but it needs the fuel of the solar plexus to turn it on. Then you, hold it. for those that feel enough power, feel free to hold the sacral. 
which is a little bit below the belly button. It's the emotional body center. It's the creative force, the dreaming body, the sexual body. A lot of the main center aspects of the masculine and feminine are there too, which have their own intelligence and can amplify and expand as well. You're making it clear, it's very targeted as well. Getting that sun inside its main generators to burn bright enough, feel enough love, safe enough by turning all the attachment into fuel, burning it away with love and gratitude spreading for your enemies and the targeters. Thank you so much for being the challenge on my chessboard, to being the weight at the gym that trains me. <laughs> Makes me stronger because all of that stuff they're sending at you is going to make you stronger. Purifying it when you purify something, this organ, chakra, energy, body to its purest state, original state, it's at its greatest capacity. You don't lose anything that you earned in abilities that purifies too and gets part of the system that's grown. Turn all the sadness, suffering. Anxiety, stress, anger, whatever is coming at, uh, you know, overwhelming you. This is where you clear it, the emotional body center, and you'll feel real good. This is where you turn all those negative things into the fertilizer for your garden of happiness. You turn all those negative emotions into the opposite of what they are. You build it up so it's resilient. Make sure it doesn't get stolen which is you know, a task on a world that treats us like batteries, but you can do it. And you can breathe fully, full in and out over and over again, deeper and deeper going into yourself. Feel like you're pulsing with the heartbeat, letting go of what's not you. Finite illusion, external attachment, more and more. Going deep, centered into your heart. Becoming your greatest self, becoming what the divine perfection that you already are, already complete, deep in your heart that's already there. And you'll feel bliss and happiness and joy and love start to turn on in those generators. And once you feel enough of that, oh, and with the breath work, full in, full out. And if you have enough, enough oxygen in your lungs every once in a while, hold the breath. To full pressure your lungs. Center. And feel like you're supernova blasting anything attached to you with love and gratitude and faith. keep doing that type of breath work you can do you know it's hard to maintain that type of breath work unconsciously so anytime you remind yourself just every once in a while when you feel enough oxygen hold the breath at full lung capacity and for seven seconds or more whatever you can do some people that hold the breath really long like past a minute they experience visions like uh past lives and stuff so just so you know the breath is powerful and you're pressurizing your pineal gland the blood system that comes to it the piezoelectric effect of it to have visions as well which we're going to go into in vision work in a second just make it so your hard eye and your regular eye sync up once you you can keep going with that chakra if you need to, if you don't feel enough bliss, maybe you were dealing with a big stress or uh, sadness or something from before, keep holding it there until it all goes away and goes to zero, and then maybe a little bit of bliss, and then, then catch up to us, it's fine. Once you're done with that and the, the mo pause emotions are generating out the chakra up and down the orc field, the toroidal field into the crown and up the roots, that permeates into the heart. The heart amplifies every type of energy that comes into it. It magnifies it. 
So then when you're ready, hold the front and back of the heart. Or if that's uncomfortable, hug yourself, hands over shoulders. All having a little bit over in your attention to clear the heart chakra. And you fill with love and light and breathe into it, family of flame. You see that golden source white light energy emanating out of it and the green of the chakra. Love permeating. You can hold this as long as you want. And it's going to keep getting better the more you clear on the heart wall. The more that comes down, that flame of love engulfing any attachment to it with love and gratitude. It's going to get better and better. So then, there's an aspect of you, your higher self and your source, that emanates in your heart. They're like big ghost aspects of yourself that do chess moves around the planet and can do big things. So you're going to empower them to expand and get bigger. They run off of fuel. That fuel is 90% faith, 5% unconditional love, and 5% gratitude. All three of those generate in your heart. So just make your heart feel really safe. Detach all this attachment to it. Burn away. Bring it to love. Bring all your enemies to allies with boundaries. Heal the heart wall. Dissolve it all. Transmute every heaviness on, on top of you. And, or distribute it to where it needs to go. Have faith in yourself. Center in your heart as you go deeper. Kind of like you're going deeper and deeper in the within direction. As you pulse out waves, like you're a boat on a on an ocean with high waves, and you're you're attempting with your focus to stay in the center of your heart, because a lot of things want to take you away from that center. It's like all thoughts will come in and distract you. Those are all attachments. You're letting go of all those things. As that weight, that boat, little boat that you are, bobs up and down on that wave that pulses in all directions, circularly from your heart beat. As you center in and keep centering into your heart, going deeper and deeper. Each one of these waves shows an attachment layer that you're detaching. I know it's really hard to, <laughs> but you can do it. So every time a thought comes up, it's going to be like person, place, or thing, worry of the future, the past. Those are going to show you what you're attached to. And you bring them front and center and you pulse them out with the heartbeat. Have faith. As you pulse it out, you're detaching more and more of it starts feeling like it's drifting away and it dissipates and disappears and then you recenter and the longer you recenter you stay centered in the heart the more bliss happiness love joy comes out of your heart more expanded knowing this you can answer any question you have you come deeper and in connection with your greater divine self that can do anything you need and want and is connected to the whole universe So you keep amplifying that faith, love, and gratitude, and that generates more and more of it, and it fuels your higher self and source, and it gets bigger and bigger. And it's ability to just rapidly take care of any threat so that your heart can expand more and more safely and resiliently. And that heart fire of love gets brighter and bigger, more resilient each time you face something that's trying to suppress it or limit it. And you keep with gratitude. Thank you for adding more fuel to my fire. I know you're not trying to help me, but you're going to help me anyway. Okay. So now, amplifying with the love with your heart. Thank you, guys. You're, you guys are generating more and more love. Love it. It's beautiful. There's going to be a heaviness in the heart, especially when you're dealing with this hurricane and you're being an empath. Um, and those that don't feel it yet, you just initiate a command where your emotional body hands go and feel into the hurricane in a safe way. And then there will be a representation of the hurricane and you'll feel it. It feels like a, a tempest. It feels a little anxious. Um, so that is what you're going to be transmuting. It's mostly made of, like I said before, 90% evil energy. Uh, they keep fueling it. So you're going to, 
all of it wants to be merged with goodness. So you're going to also generate goodness energy from your heart. And the more love you feel, the better that is. And we're going to take care of all those weights of different types of energies on the heart that may or may not be the hurricane. And you're going to turn them into fuel and become a master of them. There are some, for some people will be feeling into, you know, whatever your higher self feels ready to do first. It might be anti-love. It might be sadness. It might be destruction. It might be death. It might be the anti-verse version of all these things like anti-death, anti-war, which you'd think based on the word anti, it might be like the opposite, half wise, but more of a predatory dominating version of that thing that steals that energy. So anti-death, anti-war, anti-illness, anti-domination, anti-enslavement, uh, like a million different anti-energies I'm seeing that are likely to replace themselves into this hurricane. So you can master those. But then we're fractling up to the apex predators. I'm going to help take care of that so you don't have to feel into them directly. But I'm teaching you how to practice for different storms. So this one's kind of a hard storm. So anything you do is going to train you to get stronger. And you're really mostly going to focus on anything that's a weight on your heart. You're going to turn it into a benefit. And you're going to be uh, like, okay, so for those that out there that get targeted by things, if it's especially a volatile energy, like illness or death or something, you want to use loving detachment, pulses from the heart, surround it like you're coddling a baby with a blanket or a spider wraps their web around to make it not a threat. Give it love. Sorry that those jerks, those evil forces were abusing you. I'm a much better caretaker. I'm going to treat you well. And then you, you, you can collapse it down into a pocket dimension, get off your body if it's volatile. And then you have your higher self and source master that energy, give it what it needs and what it wants to become. That makes it so that as an opportunity, you become more friends with that energy and it's fractal that goes up to that aspect of the branch of source that is the source of like death or illness or something. And it gets to like you more, which means it won't want to harm you anymore as much. And you become more immune to it. You can turn it into immunity and then turn over influence and then you can become a manager of that energy so that it goes to where it's supposed to be uh, off of the people that don't deserve it and out of a hurricane that it doesn't need to be in which makes it less deadly makes it so it gets, gives less people hypothermia and illness and all that kind of thing and then that increases and makes better the timeline So there'll be all these things you're going to be coming with layers and layers and transmuting and make it so that your heart's more and more immune to whatever they send at you and gets stronger and stronger and redistributes this energy and transmutes it so that any of that energy sent at you in the future, you're immune to. Now, also, the heart energy and the lungs govern the wind, gas, air elemental body which goes into influence of what you know, the mainstream uh, <laughs> culture will call wind bending so you want to make that generator feel safe enough and through this you'll be earning more and more authority in that tech and body and armies with it and you can practice this is a big thing to practice on so even if you do little little nudges to it it's going to train you to get bigger and then practice with your own storms in your own air or whether whatever pattern or the wind elemental speaking to you send bringing you messages as they pass through you you be receptive and they give you information it's so all will give you information as a wind elemental oracle and then you can go through the mystery school and learn from it and then learn the bigger skills so eventually you're going to want to combine things like 
wind elemental influence and Sonic's superpower skills like telekinesis, um, which is telekinesis is generated in the solar plexus. It's a very targeted ability. So sometimes yours is going to be dormant, sealed away to protect itself. Sometimes it's stolen. Sometimes you need to reclaim it and prevent it from being stolen back in time in a past life or from the military, or it's, it's sometimes locked away in an altar or something. Sometimes, even if it does, you can do enough missions where you earn it again. And even without it, you can practice enough to where you bring it out. But there's a lot of blocks from the amount of work you have to do. So uh, do whatever you can with what you know and then keep practicing. So like with the psi wheel as an example, you can see the hurricane spinning uh, counterclockwise in your mind. And then you start an influential pattern like a Merkaba or a geometry um, spinning the opposite direction starting to slow it down <sighs> filling with love confidence faith gratitude and increase your faith because this is a miracle reality warping ability faith love and gratitude fuel if you produce enough of it you can move mountains and walk on water it brings you to lucidity in the stream Good job, guys, with the love. It's getting more and more intense. And keep keep burning away that fuel that's coming at you and those things that are coming on your heart. We had a question uh, from the chat. Like, well, I, I don't know how much time we – I have maybe 10 more minutes if that's – I don't sure, know. If I hope sure. that's enough. But, uh, but, but Melissa wants to know, she said, what can we specifically visualize to shut down the tech? All right. Okay, let's see here. If you can figure out where it is and your higher self can go around scanning those locations and then determine it. Um, it's mostly the overload and uh, hacking to, to disrupt. Uh, I have a lot of beings try to influence and AI try to f mess with my stream all the time. So uh, there, it's definitely possible to, to disrupt their ability to have it function, especially at the right timing. Is There's beings that influence weasels to shut down CERN. There's uh, all types of things you can do to make it so the electrical uh, equipment doesn't work because it, it, it requires a lot of power. So if that anywhere in that circuit is disrupted or overloaded, especially the right points, and your higher self can through understanding tech and how things work increases technopathy of course but your higher self can go through the mystery school and scan like the power supply system is a big thing where you can short circuit something uh and overload is mostly a solar plexus ability so the more you heal and purify your ego so it, it, it collapses all these altars through history uh, or this life or other lives it's like you went through a trauma or big motion or something you had to compress into a little box and take care of for later there's a lot of those so you can use all of that as fuel and purify it with love and and resolve it and it makes the ego shrink down more and more and more of the higher self come in and you can look for uh, soul parts back in time that have to do with electricity or lightning and then gain the ability for that. You can gain lightning elemental. You can build up charge. There's some people that have this ability where they shirk circuit technology. They can't wear watches. The technology around them uh, doesn't do well. The, this ability is for you guys <laughs> if you can't control it. So that you get good at breath work and charging up like accumulating chi in a pearl in your dantian in your solar plexus and building up, building up, building up, and blasting it to whatever location, overlo well, overloading it and building it up there to explode. Um, that's mostly what I've been doing. Uh, that works pretty well, uh, especially if it's attacking you. If the attack stops, that's a good training. Um, 
and so, but since this doesn't have the best biofeedback, do what you can. Um, it may sometimes if the the technology is too complex, it may take weeks or months for them to get it back up online. Um, and then you can influence the people that are behind the controls. You can get them to be rebellious, gain a conscience, overwhelm them with goodness and love, to get them to step down, to get them to pour their coffee on the computer. Oops. So there's all kinds of cool things you can do with that. <coughs> Rob, are you there? I don't know. If not, I don't know. I'll just keep going. Okay. So, again, there's a s storm in your heart. So your goal is to calm it down and shrink it. And it has all these energies. And you can have faith in your heart to master the energy and disperse it and resolve it all the way back to its source of whatever is bringing that energy into the storm. And the more people that do more of that, again, this is a trap. So it, this storm might not be resolved, but few... This will take away the authority from the evil forces that stole storm control abilities. And that will make it so there's less storms in the future, which is the real goal. Um, and you can also protect the people in the, the area of Florida or wherever else you're doing it. The safety bubbles expanded from your heart. The defensive protection that neutralizes and slows storms. I see whole sh people and shamans and people do, do rituals and fire ceremonies and baths and hot tubs and whatever el other elemental energy that you're using to help fuel you to make it so that if there's a storm, it goes, it, it opens up and it's calm around them and the storm uh, like is everywhere else but over top of them. So if, if there's enough people doing that, they can make it so that area is more and more safe. And you can do that from a distance, especially if you have uh, people there that can help you and you can amplify them like a relay, or if you have a location in, in mind, a place of power that you've connected to, if you've been there before, you can use all this technology in the, the grid system, the mountain beings, the, the local lakes, things that can cause heat or cold um, in heavy... Uh, dense air pressure of different areas that can, you know, and if you're good at that psionically, that's also a powerful thing, especially if you're, you're very understanding of weather and how hurricanes are formed. You can make an opposite pattern. It's applied to it. And then you can, uh, because time is, and what's non-observed versus what's observed in the scene versus unseen, you can make it so the timeline, more and more people survive, more and pe more people had the intuitive thought, get out of town, go this direction, don't go down that highway where all the, the traffic's blocked, you know, whatever, save up fuel like a, a week before, whatever. You can influence all these thoughts back in time, making the timeline better. Mandela effects. Retrocausal uh, psychokinesis. Then you can also use this event to wake up more people because this is, again, a big opportunity to pull the timeline in the positive direction where more people are vigilant and wake up to this being manipulated and that they can stop it. And uh, if enough people know, they can change it and they can have an effect. I don't know if uh, Robert's coming back. I hope he is. <laughs> I'll just be here by myself. But thank you guys for meditating and being with me. And uh, yeah, thank you for your bravery and drive to be more. And do the good work, the great work to help this planet you can make a difference. You, you change the timeline all the time. Each one of you is a spark of divine light of the all. And you can grow in consciousness and understanding of what you are and what the universe is 
and expand into oneness with it all so that you bring the votes and the war to peace, harmony to end the dramas of the unnecessary suffering and, and the polarity struggle and understand it all and transcend each one. And every time you transcend some layer of suffering, or sadness or pain or strife, you become more and more aware more bliss and happiness and rewards come with it more lightness more safety to be more of your true self and with that comes like the cities like uh in hinduism which are the superpowers that allow you to have more of a positive effect on this world hopefully and uh i imagine in the future there will be all these psychic protectors of the planet in different countries that can steer meteorites a little bit to the left so it doesn't hit anything uh steer hurricanes uh lessen and even prevent earthquakes prevent tsunamis uh get visions of i know a lot of people that get visions of oh no, there's going to be a tsunami you were given the vision because you can change it and as we go within and and turn on that super technology we can see more of the unseen and we see the truth and the answer to things and we get to the core of it and what it needs and you can overcome illness and death and extend your life and earn more uh right to be here in the now making things better or be multiple places at once with your multidimensional body you can transcend all limits uh recommend going inward and not stealing them really you have it already in you and in uni- unity with natural law and goodness moral code do no harm take no shit uh and do what you can you get lots of rewards for doing big missions like this and you all are getting big rewards and authority and and win elemental strengthening tech that will be interesting to see what you do with it and how your surrounding environment um changes like uh for I'll give you a little story i mean i you know moved to mexico so uh it was going through a big drought they were running out of waters and lakes and stuff it was like interesting there were big complaints about it um a lot of the grass and life was like kind of turning brown I was getting uh the family member said that that was happening and I was like oh let's see if we can take care of that. Then I tuned into what was going on. Now I'm not saying I'm the only one that was doing it, you know, this little victories but also you know, it's a group effort so thank you all out there that helps with the droughts or whatever's needed in an environment as a caretaker. So we're all in it together and helping things. Uh Hey, thanks for coming back. So I did a thing in Mexico where I found out, oh, they captured what the authorities were, uh rain gods, some dark sorcerers, governments, the government in Mexico City, Los Angeles, they captured a lot of rain gods. Parts and pieces they were stealing from them. Um there's a bunch of rituals from the past that did this too and then they passed it along to the new government. Um I started freeing them. <laughs> I was breaking them out of prison. Uh and it rained as soon as I did that and then now it's been raining the whole summer every day. <laughs> uh not all the time. There's time in the morning. It's it's really it's actually a pretty good system. It's like a rainforest. You know, it's uh in the time of day it's pretty sunny and then at night it rains. Uh but it pretty much rains every that. day now. Have you went to the pyramids? I had to step out for a second. Sorry. I, I, I like what, what did you do you go to the pyramids a lot that you're there? Are you going to the oh, mine complex and stuff? Oh yeah, I'm surrounded by pyramids. Love them. That's some of the places I go to help restore cuz they emit rare energy from the center of the earth up to a place of power and then connect to the grid system. And there's a bunch of cool things in it. Some with power, authority, ascension. I I recently went to one that uh t- teaches levity cuz there's like um a, a pyramid in the mountains 
that's was a thing. It's like ancient Aztec super soldiers. They would train panther, uh, what is it? Uh, jaguar warriors and eagle warriors. The eagle warriors would be trained astrally. To, uh, they would fast and do all these ceremonies and and have there's like a plant medicine and stuff. And they would astrally. Uh, they would need to turn into a an eagle and fly over the the chasm and get to the other side and see what's over there. And they, they come back with information, and then they pass, and they can move up the, the chain. And there's a, there's other two. Uh, and back in the past, even before, I think around Atlantis, they would go he- more heavily into actually levity as well, because it's like an ancient structure, and there's like layers built on things. But there's all these, there's like 10,000 plus pyramids throughout Mezzo and South America, and they're, uh, you like, wow, 10,000, where did they all come from? Right, and so multiple well, different it, it, civilizations. Part, part of me, like that's kind of goes back to the one of the reasons why I wanted to do this tonight is because I feel like we've had a lot of resets, and like with all the chaos in the world, I can't help but think, are like, we going to be reset again? Are they going to try to flip the switch on us again? And with all this knowledge that we've been lear- learning, all the stuff about the ancient history that we've been able to uncover, and about our extraterrestrial friends, and you know, all this stuff that's going on, like I don't want to lose it at one. You know what I mean? Like to like to, to the to just a chaos world because that's what I see starting to ensue. I start to see. Chaos chaos in the middle east chaos down here chaos over there and it's like what the hell man you know what i mean and 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 uh, when i had iman on earlier the arabian oracle she told me we did a global meditation for world peace with her i had her you know she did one and uh she told me she's like you know she's like there's a lot more places in the world that are, are even at war right now she's like but you don't hear about it it's like certain places that they want you to hear at war because they want you to feel a certain way about it you know what I mean? She said, like, for example, like she said Somalia is on fire as well, you know, like, but we don't hear about that as much, you know, but I mean, like, I don't know. But I mean, like, hopefully we're not getting to a point, like I was saying, that, like, we're getting it, like, reset again or something like that. Or, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the vote of the dark. Well, not everyone, because it, it's kind of a little insane. It's more of the insane evil ones that want to do that and that need to maintain control and that goes to different prison population kind of concepts of elite and uh, off-world breakaway civilizations and uh, other dominating species that need to keep us as a cat chattel um, and yeah we're breaking out of that uh, so they want to they want to do something like that so there'll be chaos but you know enough people wake up that that's what supports the evil is all these asleep people so if this that's the that's the war is waking up people and you can do that sonically and you can do that in person and uh, the sonic one is making their ego feel safe enough to to open up their ego boundaries and explore more and see more and, and experience more and a lot of it's like that safe being can feel safe enough because they don't um and then you know there's an art to it and those out there are waking up people i i salute you and the more people that are doing that, they detach from the parasite and the parasite starves and starts eating itself and then thrashing out. And then eventually you, all these people see it and it can only cause local destructions, loses power, it loses workforce, it loses the cops. Uh, and then, you know, we <laughs> make a parallel system. We're already making parallel systems. And then we can build up and strengthen a civilization out of the survival root chakra creations of parallel economy, parallel media, parallel economic system, parallel, all these things, uh, medical, you know, all, it, all these are wake ups to cause us to detach from the parasite and make a new, and then build up to empowered strength and state of being where we're have righteous anger to say no more and rise up and work together. And then, that uh, to you know cause massive protests and uh, take the reins of power back and our, of our control, which the government reflects your internal control center. Throw a wink, wink, nudge out there that want to reclaim internally and then reflect outward, and then go into the the foundational support to stay in your heart and love and peace and where we end all wars and empathy and telepathy and heart telepathy and and knowingness 
and all this information comes back and all this beautiful society uh, a break from the the limitations of the lower chakras control enough people do that and we're great but yeah. they keep trying to hey, force hey, us back in the root so we gotta become immune to all those forces that would force us back there into survival do you do you, are you a believer in ascension do you, do you believe in that or do you think that's just like a spirituality term that's kind of loosely used or do you believe that's a real thing i think it's real depends on how you define it though i like the the personal ascension which is you a lot of people here have been other places other realms there are other dreams there's other dimensions uh places you can inhabit realms etc and other planets and and those other planes and planets you've elevated to high levels before and now we're trying to do it in this advanced super hybrid technology but it comes with all this weight and trauma and on an earth that went through this big meat grinder of uh, things that try to invade it because it's so valuable uh, and there's so many big things uh, uh treasure it's a treasure trove and a library and all the light and the dark have this big ass war here and they're trying to you know so it takes a lot of effort to 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 build up and 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 ascend back into what you once were but in this realm in this body which will be it's like becoming a creator God that knows what the planet can do and while all the teachers of the reality can teach you that whenever you go to a planet it's a school to learn what the planet can do and what it has at its teaching and people there and, and disposal and the problems it has to overcome and that you can learn to transcend and then become better Oh, Absolutely. That's amazing. Yeah, I love that, man. Well, um, and we, I know we've gone went a long time. We've been going for an hour and 50 minutes. Holy shit, man. You're probably tired of talking. Like, is there anything no, else no, you wanted to say before we finish up? Yeah. Oh, I love you all out there. Thank you so much for being you and doing what you do and being brave and, and taking the, the reins of the internal hurricane and getting it bigger and bigger and making it so that you can um, protect this reality from more and more things because there's you know there's going to be more and more things and we'll do shows about them and uh yeah. you're gonna you're gonna never be bored when you take these pathways of psionics and learning your inner self knowing the self know thy universe and all this knowingness will come out feel free to play this over and over again in the, the, if you want to bliss out and uh it doesn't have to just be for weather and then you can form all these abilities. There, there's so much in you. There's a big library. There's knowledge that only you discover that you're going to bring out. There's things that went extinct in knowledge that you're going to bring out and, and make books about it and videos and whatever touch of influence that you make the world better physically and spiritually. You all make the world better at least quadrillion times better. The audience here. Thank you. Yeah, you're amazing, man. Do you want to tell people how they can find you? And I think they probably know, but I still like to do that. But like, you know, like whatever you'd like to say, promote. And thank you so much, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm Sean Bond of SonicLeague.com. I think it's right here with PSI. And I'm on YouTube, Sonic League, and Rumble, and uh, X, and on Facebook, Sean Bond. You can reach me and, and contact me if you want consultations, healings, deep possession. I can do at a distance. Uh, or, or individual, I can do that. Uh, teach you abilities, unlock your dormant abilities, read past lives, Kashuk record, uh, and mystery schools I'm doing. Uh, if you want to join the groups, contact me. And also, you can do trip and quarry in my email, g- uh, sionicleaggmail.com, at gmail.com. Uh, for like places we're going to a place of power pyramids in Mexico next and, and a, a other places around the planet if you're interested in that to o- open it up make it feel safe so it helps the rest of the planet turning on that chakra that that, that meridian system for the, that changes the D- and affects the DNA of the populace around and spreads out and sometimes it gets as big as the planet and beyond uh, and then it'll trade a bunch of energy of a type of superpower with you um, and uh, how do people reach you Oh, I'm the typical skeptic podcast, but I gotta ask you this so real quick, man. Do you or did you guys did you and Issa start making travel plans as to where you're gonna go first? And like what are you gonna what do you guys do? What's going on with that? I'd love to know, you know, like 
you know, I, I want to be a part of it. I'd love to. I help you guys promote it, and I want to try to come if I can. You know, I, I would, yeah, I'd love to love try to. Have, you know, that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah let's do it. I'll, I'll talk to, about it. I'm, I'm making an itinerary. We're uh, we're forming together a bunch of people that want to be involved. Soul family. Some people, you know, we, we did a thing in Egypt. Some people fell in love. Uh, so uh, look forward to that if you're, if you're interested in meeting your soul family that you connect to and possibly love. Uh, there, yeah, we're we're making a list of some of the more powerful pyramids, uh, some of the big headers, ones that uh, involve like ETs and and artifacts and things that will change your life for the better. Healing. Um, we might do the Levity Place because I I love that one. Uh, but there's like 10,000. So we got to explore a bunch. So I really want to figure out what is the best possible ones that people can go to. And yeah, next one we're doing in Mexico. So uh, yes, send it trip and Corey, if you're interested in that and uh, to our email or wherever. And uh, yeah, if you want to see Robert, he might be on. So uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> look right. forward to well, thank you. syncing up with you on that. Because uh, right. yeah, he's got always done and then you can meet yeah. him in person. Yeah, and thank you, Sean. I, this was amazing. Thank you for taking up so much of your time to help us and try to help the situation. And it means a lot, you know. So thank you, really. Uh, it means it really means a lot, man. Thank you. You too. I, I really appreciate you, great friend. And uh, this wouldn't be possible without you. So uh, you've earned many wings uh, and are growing exponentially. And you're gonna have a lasting impact on this world, and you already have. And there's so much dormant within you, and it's gonna be so fun to see it all come out. And I, I'll be there along the way, of course. We're good friends, so and I'll help you with whatever you need as well. So let me know. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. All right, guys, that's it for me tonight. Guys, uh, like, share, share, and subscribe, and take care, everybody. And until next time.